Hi everyone, it's my first morning of trying the Kappa Chu powder, or the better known as Mucana Prurins. So, the first thing that I have discovered is that I need to be more organized about this. Because I'm already like 20 minutes past when my dose was due. And I'm not going to be on camera because it's pretty early for me in the morning. Well, actually, it's not that early. It's like 8.30, but I was due my second dose at 8. I didn't do it the first dose because I didn't think I'd be up to videotaping at 5 a.m. So my first problem, why this is so late, probably is because I'm shooting a video, but other than that, I wasn't too organized with the dosage that I was going to take. I had planned to go over this before I shot a video, but I kept putting it off like everyone else, so here we go. So the first problem is the dosage is um, very, not confusing, but I'm gonna start, there is no like recommended dosage. Some people do recommend the dose, but it's all different. Like you'll read one site and it'll be totally different from another site. I'm going to stick to starting off with how I would do it irrevertically. So that's why I have my book and I have my cell phone because I have to convert grams to teaspoons. So with this um, irrevertic book, it's this is actually my te old textbook. It's by Sebastian Pohl. It's irrevertic medicine. It's actually suggesting a lower dose than I've seen works for Parkinson's, but I'm just going to start with this since I'm trained in it. So he suggests 5 to 15 grams of powder, which I've converted that into being equivalent to 1 teaspoon is 4 grams. And that's, so I'm going to start off with 1 teaspoon. Which is probably more than I think people are starting out with. And that's just because I've been on levodopa copper dope for a long time now. Well, not that long, like three years. So, and I think I've had Parkinson's for about 20 years without being diagnosed, so my body's used to the um, Cinemet. So I just took half a Cinemet, and the reason I did that is that I've read that you have to have um, some of the carbidopa to cross the blood brain barrier and my um, neurologist of course I discussed this with my neurologist she couldn't approve it but um, she did not say it was a bad thing to do but she did give me some um, tips or suggestions so I'll go over that in another video um, But she also said, um, try to use some of the cinnamon while I'm testing this for the same reason. Okay, so here's the powder form. And I'm using the powder form. There are other f forms of this herb, but I'm using the powder from Banyan because I'm used to using Banyan for my Ayurvedic herb supplier. Most Ayurvedic practitioners use Banyan. And we know that Banyan tests their herbs. So that's why I use that brand. There might be other brands that I've read about that other people are using in the Parkinson's community that I might try. 
but this is organic and as far as I know I will double check this I think this is the old the whole herb chop top there's some debate about what part of the herb to use but this herb has been used for centuries under Ayurvedic medicine okay so I put one teaspoon of the powder in here I'm using the powder because from what I've been trained with the powder is the easiest to digest it'll go straight through the digestive system rather than the other types and I will go over that later in another video so here goes I'm just gonna be out of the camera range hopefully to get my hot water and I just have a, a, a glass so that you can see the, the powder So you can dilute it like any way you want to with the hot water, meaning that you can put any amount of water in there. But I want the dose to, to act right away, so I'm not going to put much water. And I'm going to be trying this different ways because Ayurvedically, um, the water is one way. And that was listed on the Banyan instructions. And I can also use that with honey. And I can also use it with um, milk or uh, like a milk substitute. This probably is not going to taste that great. Ayurvedic herbs don't taste that great, but they do work very well. I suppose if I don't like it hot, I can just do it like this. It dissolves the powder very well, and then I can um, cool it off. So I can prepare it beforehand and cool it off. I might be able to prepare it and um, put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so let me taste this. So the taste of it, it, it's not too bad for an Ayurvedic herb. Some people say it doesn't have a taste. I would say that I don't really taste it. What I taste is the hot water. So I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll combine this with some tea. Okay, so right now I take nine and a half cinnamets. So I'm not gonna I'm not hoping to to completely um, change over to this. I mean, I would hope that I could, but I kind of doubt it. So, but I'm open to whatever happens. I'm just kind of um, trying it. I would love to reduce my cinnamon use. I've heard that this works for many people, and some people it doesn't work for. There's also, though, a lot of scientific... Um, actual um, testing in this with this herb and it um, usually is all positive and these are like tests by western methods so anyway i'm going to drink this and i'll see you at my next dose which is due at let me think um it is actually due at 11 o'clock or 11 30 right now to adjust the time i take um cinnamon every three hours Okay, see you later.